think whether the office or a watering hole, basketball became the distraction. It's not here Anybody though, right? Anybody works today, yeah, right? Jayhawk and Tiger fans <laughs> saw their teams overlap in the first round games. Fox Sports' Jacob Kilstad joins us live from Johnny's Tavern downtown. Jake, not too hard to fall into binge watching basketball today. Oh yeah, and you know, especially when KU and Mizzou are doing their things, and you have to realize they're at opposite ends of the bracket here, so the only way that they'd really play each other is if they both make it to that championship game. So watching today, as far as what I saw, there was a lot of love being shared between these two fan bases. On any given day, it's pretty easy to spot your hardcore Jayhawks fans, but diehard Mizzou Tiger guys, they're equally easy to catch on day one of the dance. I was born in Columbia, raised in Columbia, went to school in Columbia. My remembrances of past appearances in the tournament are always bad. <laughs> Um, they've broken my heart multiple times. Ty said me, I was laying on the couch with food poisoning that day, so that was an awful day all the way around. Norfolk State, um, a few years back, wasn't fun. My KU buddy, I bring him to games with me all the time, and he's awful luck. How does it feel hearing him call you bad luck? I love it. Every time I go to a Mizzou football game, they lose. <laughs> I'm not lying. It's been... Middle Tennessee, Middle Tennessee oh, all of them. I mean, Auburn, Syracuse, I can name them all. Kiss of death. We have no chance today because he's here. On the flip side, KU fans are feeling reserved confidence, perhaps owing to how long they've been on the Jayhawk grind. I think since the day that I was born. Well, we watched every game, and she was always right there with us. When he was a baby, he, my dad used to have to take him into the other room because he would cry when she would scream at the TV. Molly was born in 88 when there was a championship and I was born in 52 when there was a championship. So we figured there was something there. Yeah, is anybody pregnant this year? I mean... <laughs> she is. What do you think about your mom's prediction with the, uh, the births lining up with national championship years? Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty legit. Yeah. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. And a girl, so all the girls born. He was born uh, when we won the World Series, so we got a family of champions right here. Yeah, kind of prophetic there. Also, we did connect with some K-Staters out and about. They're, of course, waiting for their game to be played. One man told me that he was retreating to a cabin in the woods with a bunch of his friends, and they're going to be, uh, as he put it, eating the large amounts of uh, animal parts out there in the woods, John. So, you know, I guess there's no wrong way to celebrate March Madness. Yeah. Does not matter as long as you're celebrating. Jacob Kittlestad downtown tonight. Jake, thanks.